Hello and welcome to Filmfest München 2021. My name is Julia Weigel and I'm a programmer with the festival. Today we'll be speaking to the protagonist of François Ozon's Summer of 85, Félix Lefebvre. You're playing one of the protagonists, well, the protagonist in François Ozon's new film, Été 85, um, Alex. Let me ask this question. How was it for you to actually shoot a film with François Ozon? <laughs> well, um, you don't want to think about this because if you start thinking about this, you're just going to be stressed and you, you're not going to be able to do your work. So the fact that I was shooting with him made me, uh, gave me like the best thing for an actor, which, which was confidence. So I was just okay with, uh, with letting go and uh, not thinking about myself, but only acting. How would you yourself describe Alex, the role you're playing in the film? I would describe, yeah, Alex is he's a young guy who's, uh, who's like very intelligent and who's having a hard time finding himself in, uh, in love, in, uh, in like the way of thinking, because he's like, really obsessed by death. And, and I think that with this is like something that he, that, that, that tells that he's very scared about it and he doesn't want to die and he doesn't understand it. And uh, he, he, for me, it's just a young boy who's, who's not really, uh, who's not like, uh, who doesn't have like lots of relationships, but when he builds them, it's like very strong. And when he meets David, he's like he meet, he's meeting the friend he's always always dreamed of, and uh, he's building a really strong relationship. And only him would uh, be enough for the rest of him of his life. Um, the film is set in the 1980s, and it is loosely based on a novel from the 80s. Actually, how was it for you to play a teenager in the 80s? Like, what was the best part about it, the most fun, and what was maybe the trickiest and hardest part to do? So that's that's really one of the best part is the aesthetic and also the fact that if you want to see each other, you got to see each other. There's no social media, there's no phone, there's no anything else. Then you just like contact and just being in front of, of the other. Um, and uh, what was it like? You, I think that's... It was uh, it was made by uh, most of all most of all was made by the other the other workers which was like uh, the the costumes the the uh, the scripts because the text and uh, and you know everything around the the the, the screen the, the the image and we think we were thinking that the young people then and the young people now are, are the same they just have different uh, things around them but they respond the same to love and to others. And then one other element that I would suggest that also sort of like sets it in the 1980s is obviously music. Yeah. So I was going to ask you, what was your relationship to Rod Stewart sailing before the film and then after the film? Because that's for me, like some of the scenes are just so, they're incredible. When I get uh, cho chosen for the role, uh, Francois asked me for songs for, for, the, for the dance on the grave. And he didn't have any, but I was looking for songs in the 80s. I was looking out on my phone and I, I, I got on this sailing song, which I didn't know before. I saw I, I was looking for it for the film. And when I heard it, I heard the lyrics and I heard the feeling of it, which was like, very melancholy, melancholia yeah, and uh, lots of melancholia, yeah. and um, I, it felt like the right song for, for the movie. But I, I was sure that Francois was gonna find it like uh, kitsch and not good for the movie. But I saw, but I still sent it to him, and uh, he loved it. I, I'm he he thought it was the right choice too, so he he picked it. And uh, now the issue was like. How was I gonna dance on this song? Because it's it's not a dance song; it's a ballad. It's a ballad, but we still managed to to dance on it. And uh, my relationship to the song is that I'm very uh, receptive to those kind of uh, uh, very emotional songs. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm very receptive. So it's making me like 
lots of emotions and even more with, now that it's on the movie and that uh, it's one of the key songs of the movie. How would you yourself describe the movie? Because it's, of course, a love story. It's a coming of age story. And then it's also, um, I mean, a very sad drama, so to say. Like, how would you describe it? Because it's so many different things. It's more a story about how you become who you really are than, than anything else. Like, it's all the things he's living in the movie, in the, yeah, in the movie that makes him that makes the story worth be told. This was beautiful. Felix, thank you so much for thank taking you. the time to talk to us.